Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code challenge day by day. In day five, we will use loops to do some simple math. Let's look at the task. So given an integer n, print its first 10 multiples. Each multiple n by i, where one is less than or equal to i, which is less than or equal to 10 should be printed on a new line in the form nxi equals result. Our input will be the integer n, and our output will be the result of the 10 multiplications with each line being in the form n by i equals result. Let's take a look at the sample input. Given an integer 2, we want to print its first 10 multiples. So the first line of sample output is 2 by 1 equals 2, 2 by 2 equals 4, and so on and so forth until the last line, 2 by 10 equals 20. Now that we understand the problem and know our approach, let's dive into the code. HackerRank has already given us some code to read the input integer into variable n. What we need to do is now to make a for loop. And inside this for loop, We will call n times 1 through 10 and get the product. So product equals n by some integer i. And then we will print the result as n by i equals product. Here I'm using format to format the resulting string. You can read more about it at pyformat.info. For us to get the right values for i, we want our for loop to start at 1 and end at 10. For that, we will use the range method to generate a range of values. We will start at 1 and generate values until 11. In range, it stops just before the end index. So we will start with 1 and go until just before 11. So we will actually generate the values 1 through 10 for the for loop to iterate over. And we will assign that to variable i. So our final solution uses a for loop to loop over our integers 1 through 10 and assign them to the i variable within the for loop. In each run, we then multiply n by i to get our product variable. And then we print the result in our output. This should result in 10 lines of output, just like the sample output. Let's go ahead and test it. Whoops. Looks like a little typo there. Good thing we run our code before we Submit it. So let's go run it again. Great. Looks like we passed all the test cases. Let's go ahead and submit it. Awesome. We passed them all. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you missed yesterday's video, please click here to review it or click here to view the full Hacker Ring 30 Days of Code Challenge playlist. If you want to see me solve other problems, please comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.